Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to talk about how we can divide shapes into equal parts. And we're going to be working with not just unit fractions, we're going to be working with non-unit fractions. So our learning goal for today says, I can partition a whole into equal parts and identify non-unit fractions. So friends, a non-unit fraction is just more than one part of a fraction. So it's not just one-fourth. A non-unit fraction could be two-fourths or three-fourths. Okay, so the materials that you'll need for today are just a dry erase board. So make sure you grab that. All right, so we're going to write one half in unit form. So remember, it's just unit form is just like one part. So that's where the unit comes from. And unit form is written in words. So now let's write one half in fraction form. So remember, that's where you have to use the numbers and the line across in the middle. So here's one half. Okay, so this is just a quick review from our previous lesson. What does the two mean in our fraction? What does that represent? It's our two halves or our two equal parts. Remember, here's unit form, here's fraction form, and this is a unit fraction because it's one part. What does the one mean in our fraction? Yeah, it means one part of the whole. We're talking about one copy or one part of the fraction or the equal parts. Okay, so the circle below is one whole. What unit is it partitioned into? Thirds, because there's three equal parts. What is the unit fraction? Yeah, one third, because we're talking about one of the parts. So if I shade that in, let's make a copy of my shaded unit fraction. So we're gonna make a copy of the one third. And now, how many units are shaded? Two thirds. Let's count them. So we have one third, two thirds. We can write the number two thirds in unit form or fraction form. So unit form here is just two thirds. Fraction form is where you're using your numerical numbers to write it, so two over three. Because we're talking about two of the parts and there's three total equal parts. What happened to our unit fraction when we made a copy of it? Yeah, so we started with one unit shaded and then we shaded in another unit to make a copy. Two copies make two thirds. So that's why we changed it from one third to two thirds. Now we're talking about two copies. Okay, so the rectangle below is one whole. What's the unit or what unit is it partitioned into? So how many equal parts? Eighths, good job. What's the unit fraction? One eighth, because we're talking about one part for the unit fraction. And I'm going to shade that in. Ooh, shade it in some more now. So how many units are shaded now? Five eighths. Let's count them. Ready? One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, and five eighths. We can write the number 5 eighths in unit form or fraction form. So here's unit form, 5 eighths. And our fraction form would be represented with our numerical numbers. The top number is going to always be, like for this example, is how many are shaded. Could be how many are, un are unshaded also. But in this lesson, we're talking about how many are shaded. And the bottom number, the denominator, is always how many total equal parts there are. Okay, so let's do another example, but don't worry, you're gonna get to do some too. Okay, so the rectangle as a whole, what unit is it partitioned into? Fourths. What's the unit fraction? One fourth, you got it. Ooh, I shaded in some more. So now how many units are shaded? Three fourths. Let's count them together. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. 
So we can write them in unit form and we can write them in fraction form. So in unit form, remember you're using words and you're talking about one of the parts, okay? Three-fourths and fraction form is numerically. There are three parts that are shaded and then the total number of parts is four. Okay, so let's practice where you guys get to practice. You need your dry erase board for this part. You're gonna draw a rectangle and partition it into six equal parts and shade the unit fraction. So remember the unit fraction is one part. So draw your rectangle, partition it into six equal parts and then shade the unit fraction. Okay, so pause, go ahead and do that and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Oh, friends, I forgot, sorry. You're gonna write it in unit form and in fraction form as well. Okay, so draw, shade, write in both forms, and then let's uh, click plot, play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, so here's my shape. Now, could your um, rectangle maybe look a little bit different? You could have drawn it um, horizontally, or sorry, vertically, I drew it horizontally. Okay, as long as you have six equal parts and you shade one of them, you're good. Okay, so a unit form would be one sixth and our fraction form would be one sixth written numerically with numbers. Remember the one is one part is shaded and the six represents the total number of equal parts. Okay, so now we're gonna make three copies of our unit fraction to make a new fraction. So you have your one unit already shaded. You're gonna make three more copies, shade those in, and then you're going to write it in unit form and fraction form. Okay, so pause the video, go ahead and shade three copies, and then write in unit form and fraction form, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. Okay, here's one copy, two copies, three copies shaded. So now we have four sixths and our fraction is four parts are shaded and there are six total equal parts. Okay, good job with that one, friends. Let's look at another one. Okay, so now you're gonna draw a rectangle with 10 equal parts, shade in the unit fraction and then write the unit fraction or the fraction in unit form and fraction form. So go ahead and pause the video, draw your rectangle with 10 equal parts, shade the unit fraction and write it in unit form and fraction form. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, make sure to pause if you need more time. All right, so here's my rectangle with 10 equal parts. One is shaded for the unit fraction, and I would write that as one tenth for the unit form, and then I would write it as one over 10 for the fraction form. Okay, next part. So you're gonna make five copies this time of the unit fraction to make a new fraction, and then you're gonna write the fraction in unit form and in fraction form. So go ahead and pause the video, make five more copies and write it in both of the forms and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, pause if you need more time. All right, so here's my five copies. Ready? One copy, two copies, three, four, and five copies. Now I have six parts that are shaded, so my unit form is six tenths. And then my new fraction form is six over 10. Six parts are shaded, 10 total parts. All right, so super, you guys did an awesome job partitioning a whole into equal parts and identifying those non-unit fractions. So fractions that have more than one part shaded. You guys did a wonderful job. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. <laughs>